Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make stir steamed kale with vegetables and beans. Alright, we're at the stove. I have a large pot here and I just turned it on to a medium heat. And what we're going to do here, I've got one cup of homemade vegetable broth and I'm going to pour just randomly uh, without worrying about it, about a fourth of a cup to a third of a cup in the pot and no stress on if you do too much or not enough because you can always add more and we are going to be using all of that one cup of broth before we're finished so no stress. Now to this I'm going to add one half cup of chopped onion and three large cloves of garlic that I have chopped up. And we're going to add one cup of diced carrot. And you see it's not even hot yet. It's not, not uh, sizzling, but we're going to do like a stir steam on this so it's not a deal. And then we're going to add some flavoring to this and I have two teaspoons of dried thyme, one tablespoon of dried parsley, and one teaspoon of dried basil. We're just going to add that right on in. Now I'm just going to stir this up. And all I'm going to do is allow this to cook a little bit until the onions and the carrots and the garlic start to soften up some and then we're going to go from there. I'm going to turn this up. It's on medium heat. I'm going to turn it up way high so I can get this ball rolling here and then we're going to turn it back down a little bit. Add broth as we need it as we go. Alright, you can see this is starting to steam a little bit so it's starting to get hot which is good. You may hear some bubbling on the side here. I've got another pot on the stove with some rice cooking. I like to serve this dish over a hot cooked grain and we like to eat rice so I've got some rice cooking. You could do quinoa, oh, millet, um, you could even do mashed potatoes if you want or just whatever kind of a starchy side dish you would like to uh, serve this with and it would go really well. All right, you can see it's starting to cook. So we're going to let this stir, steam, saute in this broth for three to five minutes until these vegetables start to soften up. All right, they are starting to get translucent there and the onions. Now we're going to add some other ingredients. Here I have one four ounce can of mushrooms that I've drained or you can use fresh mushrooms, about a cup's worth. Uh, sliced up, cut up into bite-sized pieces. And then I have roughly six cups of chopped kale. This is about a half of a pound of kale, fresh kale here. We're going to add this into the mix. Now obviously we need the rest of that broth in here. So we're going to add the broth and I'm going to cover this up and then I'm going to stir it occasionally to get those uh, the kale to break down some and allow this to cook for about 13 to 15 minutes until the kale is tender. And I've got one more ingredient that I want to add into this and this is a cup of beans that are cooked. You could use canned beans if you want. These are beans that I cook in advance and put them in the freezer. And this is beans or peas of choice. And I've got a mixture of about half red kidney beans and half navy beans. I like to just add a mixture in there. It makes for a nice color. And you can see the kale is just barely starting to wilt down a little bit. We're just getting it started. So I'm going to cover this back up and keep it going for a while yet. We're not ready yet, but you can see that this kale has really come down and it's looking beautiful. Now you see that there is still some liquid in the pan. What I'm watching for is for most of this liquid to uh, be absorbed by the vegetables. And then we have something else that we're going to be adding to this mixture. So we're just going to let it cook a little bit longer. It's not quite time yet. 
Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off and allow some more of this broth to evaporate before I add another ingredient to it. We're almost there, and it's almost been that 13 to 15 minutes mark. Where it's just it's so colorful, it's just so pretty like this, and it's very tasty too. All right, you can see we still have a little bit of that juice in there, but most of it is gone. So now what I'm gonna do is add one 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes. And I know it seems like it's late in the game, but it's really not for what we're doing. All I want now is really for it to heat through. I also have one tablespoon of red wine vinegar that I'm adding to this to help brighten up the flavors. And we're just going to allow this to cook for another minute or two just to allow those tomatoes to heat through. And if you're wondering where I'm at on the stove, it's uh, just above medium heat. And actually I could turn it up just a little bit more to get this to heat through a little bit faster. And then we're almost finished. All right, you can see it's back to a boil now. I'm going to turn this off, just perfect timing. I just took my rice off the heat. And now I'm gonna add just one more thing here. We have some sesame seeds that we're gonna sprinkle on this. And oh, this is whatever amount you want. And it's an optional ingredient. I have probably about a tablespoon of sesame seeds there, and we are done. I'm gonna plate this up and show you what it looks like. Here's our finished dish, and let me tell you, it is yummy. The recipe is below with a printable version on my blog. Give it a try sometime, and let me know how it works for you. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.